YouTubers. Hello, I just thought I'd have a bit of a play around. I've had this um, quite a few years meaning to put it together and I've never got around to it. You know, I've lost it quite a few times and since people on YouTube, my fellow friends and you know, those that know me and I know them, been having a go, dogs had a go, cars had a go at this and a few others possibly. Um, I thought I'd have a go at doing this um, kit I sent for. It's from Dazio 3. Um, I just thought I'd have a look at it, you know. Um, I'm a bit depressed because um, I've agreed to go into work on my holiday because they're desperate. Um, so I'm working tomorrow, which would have been holiday. And I'm working on Saturday. And there you go. And then I'm back to work. So um, the things that I don't like, I'm now having to do. But they done me a favour by giving me a holiday. They didn't need to do that. So as they help me, I'm going to help them. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to sort out these parts. And I'm going to clean the circuit board with my um, fiberglass pen. Yes, it is fiberglass pen. It's basically um, a pen with fiberglass fibres. And you scrub your circuit boards with it. And it comes up nice and clean. Now I can't guarantee this is going to work or not. But we'll give it a go. I'm depressed because I have to go back to work. I've heard that word before. This is the schematic. I'm trying to open this out with one hand. <coughs> this is the schematic for it. Three transistors. It's got the details here. Range up to three meters. Um, power supply, three volt. Um, frequency 90 to 100 megahertz. It modulation is FM. Um, PC size is 21 by 41 millimeters. Pardon me. There's a circuit board. And it's also printed on the other side as to what the parts, where the parts go. The only thing of this is we've got to measure the capacitors to find out what the values of them are. Because on the schematic they're all different. And I don't know how they're numbered, whatever. So we might have to test them, I don't know, we'll see how we go. All I've done is just chuck the parts out on the bench, I picked up the camera and started filming. So I'll let you know how far we get and where we get to, okay. So there's our circuit board, probably upside down. We just cleaned it off with some alcohol. And that's the mess and muck we've got off the board. So what I'm going to do now is cut the tape off the resistors and clean the leads on all the other parts. Which are here. There's the coil. The um, trimmer cap rather, trimmer coil, trimmer cap. Um, there's the coil and the mic. All the various parts in there. And that little green resistor looking thing is the uh, inductor. Three transistors, I think they're all the same. But anyway, we need to clean the leads because this has been sitting in this plastic bag for years. So take a few minutes and uh, get back to you when I'm done. Right, we're cleaning the end of our leads in alcohol. We washed our hands. Yes, we washed the grease off our hands. Going to do the resistors and the inductor first. There we go. Right, the first part we're going to put in is our one Henry coil, which goes into there. Yeah. 
There's our coil. Uh, right now we're going to install R6. I'm testing each individual resistor before I put it in, just in case I don't see the colours properly on the resistors. So easy to get them wrong. Much, I feel much better testing it. Right, that's that in. So the next one I'm going to do is 46k, which is R5. So let's find R5. There she is. There's R5. Goes in there. I'm just placing them in at the moment. Can't get it in the hole. There's R5. Okay. Uh, what's next? 2.2k, I think that's it there. Three reds. Testing every single resistor as we go. Can't see, can you? No. That's 2.182, blah blah blah, just about. It's well within tolerance, brand new resistor. Should be no problem at all. I've lost it on the schematic now. 22.2 R4. So R4 goes in at the back there next to R5. Surprisingly. Oh. I can't see. Can't see. Get it in the hole. There it is. Separate the wires off. Right, might as well do R3 while we're at it. R3 is 15k. I think that's it there. Uh, 14.87, yeah, 15k more or less. Very, very close they are. So just double check. R3, yeah. Here's R3. Uh, two more resistors to go. What's this one here? That's um, 330k, I think. Three hundred and twenty-nine. Where does that go? Is R one? The first project I've made in a long time. There's R one. Looking good. Now we've got one resistor left. And that forty six K. Am I reading that right? Oh right, I see. It's reading 462 ohms. 462 should be 417. That's not far out. And that is R2. 
R2, where is R2? R2. There's R2, right over the other side. There's R2. There we go. Need something to hold it. Where's my holders? Just find me holders. Right, let's try that. Let's clean our own again. Can't have it moving all over the place when we're trying to solder, can we? That's better. A tiny amount of soda for we need. All we need is 15 more iron for this. Right, we flapped the other resistors, we just want the solder now. The other ones that we were messing on with. Very small. Right, let's sort the rest of the resistors out. It's looking good, isn't it? I'm going to start in R3, uh, which is cleaned all nice and ready and fluxed. Nicely fluxed. I'll tell you, this is working out well. This um, pea pot from the hospital. Working out absolutely brilliant. Pleased. Oh, we know we need to. We need to hold it in place, don't we? That's better. Stop it from going all over the place. So who can we bug with this? Do you reckon? Uh, let's bug the cat. Let's see what she does during the night. Only joking. I'm getting there. This might be a long video. I do apologise, but um, things take as long as they take. At the end of the day, whoops, sorry, I've just knocked the camera. I do apologise. Take as long as I take, lads. This is a hobby, not a, a mass production factory where you got to do things to time. I have to work to time. And I'm certainly not playing to time. I'll do whatever I do, whenever I do. Okay, let's get the next resistor ready.
going to solder one side of that lead so that we can hold it in place. And I can have a lot of solder on the carpet before long. From all the wipings off. Who cares? Do the job right first. That's more important. Beautiful, so that's going to hold that in place so we can now get the other wire out where we want it. Put the flunks on there. Right, these are our caps. We've got to try and find out what all these numbers mean and which one goes in what. Because they're all different. And some of these caps, which we don't know, the um, values are very important for this to work correctly. So rather than solder them all in wrong, we'll find out which ones are what first. And whatever his name is, Dacio3 has thought of everything. He's not only numbered the caps with the values, he's also given the numbers as to which ones are what. Isn't that great? So that's easy. So all we've got to do now is to clean the leads and degrease them and then we're ready to go. Our next cap we're going to put into is 102, which funny enough is C2, which is this one over the end here. There we go. I'm not used to using this camera this way for a while. I did it a while back. Let's find out what that burning smell was. It was my soldering iron burning the case to my leather phone, the uh, leather case rather. It's not damaged it, it's okay. Try not to do it again. I don't think that's going well. Let's have a closer look. Right, it's this one here, across these two pins here, C4, which is 10 PF, C4 and C5, by the looks of it, C4 and C5, we're doing C4. I can't believe I volunteered to go into work tomorrow. I think I must be nuts. But they did help me. So if 
suppose. Uh, I'm struggling to see them because they're that small. Fifteen. Sure, that one says fifteen. Fifteen PF C nine. C nine. Let's put that one in. Right, C one. Eventually, we'll run out of capacitors, so hopefully, we'll get something right. Great, this works first time. I really hope it does. Because all of a sudden I've ended up running out of time. Uh, you know, it's moving. Right, I thought we made a mistake because I thought one of the caps that I put in was uh, was in the wrong place, but it's not. I've just checked them all. We've got two places left that are capacitors. We've got two capacitors left. They are both the same value. They're both 104s. And 104 is C3 and C7, and that's the space we have left on the board is C3, C7. So everything checks off perfectly. Everything checks off perfectly. So we're just putting in the remainder of the last capacitors, and then. Uh, Gonna go and make a cup of tea. So that's C3 we put in. I know you can't see it because it's in my hand, which is not in camera. Uh, but I'll show you in a minute. I'm just putting them in at the minute. Right, okay. You'll see the long wires. I'm just um, putting it in my temporary vice. There you go. So we've just put in. Just get a pointer. Um, I forget in which one's which, but one is um, C3 and one is C7. That's these two here. And that's last of the capacitors, which leaves us with uh, a coil, three transistors, and a trimmer, aerial, and battery box. Uh, so when I've done these two caps, I'm going to go and make a cup of tea. Okay, I'm going to show you what I've been doing with these, if I can. But remember, my hands are going to get in the way. If I put my hands in the way, we ain't going to get it done. So what I've been doing is I've been putting the components in, trimming them off short first. Someone's bound to ask. We didn't see you putting the capacitors in. So that's the little wires now shorter. Okay, so then I've been getting my um, little blue screwdriver to push, hold on to the capacitor on the other side, which is getting a bit tricky now because we've got, um, and then bending the wires down. I mean, at this particular point, I mean, go along. We can take it out and have a quick look to see that it's we're happy where it is. There it is. There. Uh, that one's going along a track, so we can leave that one. I'm doing one at a time. 
but that's the kind of man I am. I like to do things in my own sweet time. If this is going to work out to be a long video, I do apologise. Um, this is more or less, more or less in real time doing this. Things don't just happen. Click the fingers and they're all done. It's all finished for you. Fortunately, this hobby takes time. You need a lot of patience. If you ain't got no patience, find a different hobby. Because if you haven't got any patience, there are times when this hobby will definitely try your patience. As it does everybody. No matter who it is, how expert you are, everybody runs out of patience. And that's the time when you're down tools and you say, right, um, it's time to give it a rest. I've obviously been doing it for too long. I need a break. You know, and that's when you start making mistakes. You start making mistakes because you're trying to do too much. Remember, this is a hobby, not mass production. We haven't got to get things done in a certain time. That's the way I look at it. As soon as a hobby becomes, I haven't, I've got to do this, I've got to get it done, I must finish it. Um, I, will, I will pack this hobby in quicker than I started. Literally as quick as that, right. I do not like doing things in a rush. I do not like being harassed. As them not at work find out to their displeasure what happens when they try to harass me. I can't tell you the words that I use on camera, but I think you can guess what I tell them to go and do and I don't care who I say it to either I say it to everybody and anybody watching this video we know we know it to be true so let's have a look that will tell us on here somewhere transistors T1 2 and 3 is a BC 5 4 7 C which I believe is an NPN transistor. Okay, I'm going to go and uh, make a cup of tea. And uh, just have a rest for a couple of minutes. See what's been happening on YouTube and stuff. And I'll get back to you. Right. Get it in shot. Hang on a sec. That's better. Right, we're installing our trimmer cap. Now the thing is with this schematic is it doesn't actually say what one it is. It doesn't say, it just says trimmer cap. It doesn't say what the capacitance is. I suppose we could test it. That's one way around it, I suppose. But um, we'll go with it for now. There we go, that's better. Can you see that? That's better. Just turn the camera around for you. No point in filming if you can't see what we're doing. Going to bed shortly. I'm not looking forward to going to work. Really don't like it very much. But if we didn't go to work, we wouldn't be able to do the lovely things that we like doing, would we? There we go. 
Right, I suppose the next thing is our mic. Now it has a positive and a negative. And the side that's connected to the case is the negative. Uh, that's it there. And these mics, believe it or not, they are very, very sensitive. I mean, they are really sensitive. So, the way it's set up, you can only get it in the right way. Which I think is brilliant. It really is good. It's well made, this um, little kit. I mean to make this for a long time. Right, there we go. Doing. That went flying off somewhere. Anywhere. I tell you, after a while, you find these bits of wire everywhere. I hope you're enjoying this as much as I am. And this pea pot thing um, has worked out really well. really has makes a fantastic solder holder and you can get a ton of solder inside yeah that's all nice and good right I think we'll uh position these well we can do it later right our next thing is um, transistors that's what we've got so far right it's only a small thing but it's got plenty of compartments right it doesn't matter about these um, resistors sorry these transistors so I'm just going to clean off camera, I'm just going to clean these pins up. Wasn't recording. Right, these uh, transistors has been on a, on a ribbon. So they've got that gooey tapey stuff on there. So I'm nipping off the uh, end of the pins. And then cleaning them up with my pen. Most people don't bother but... Um, on a good solder job, we've got nice clean pins, it doesn't take much. Right, that's that done. Now we're going to dunk them in our alcohol. Put it in shot so you can see. There we go. Let me do a call while I read it. Brilliant. Now it's just a matter of uh, drying off our transistors and uh, sticking them in the hose. So back pin back, front pins forward. And then we straighten out all these pins. So just give a sec while we uh right we we'll solder that one in. It doesn't matter which one goes in which as long as the pins go in the right holes.
Right, that's that. Get our cutters. Sorry about the hands. Can't help that. Right, let's check the positioning. Looks good to me, no pins touching. Alright, let's get the next one in. I'll let you know when we get the next one in. Right, these transistors are a bit fiddly to get in. But we're getting there. Right, that's our last transistor in. Found it easier to make two leads slightly um, different lengths to one another, and then one very short um, on the outside, one of the outside pins. Doesn't matter. Doesn't matter if it's um, emitter or collector. Anyone will do. Whatever suits really. Found that easier. Bit late to find out it's easier when you're doing the last one, but there you go. There we go. Our last transistor going in right now. That one done. Right, there's our coil in. Uh, did it say how many turns? Five turn coil. I think um, the number of turns depends upon the setup of the circuit. Some four turns, some five turn, and I bet if we was to look at more of his work, we'll probably find other combinations of different turns. I think when you're making these things you're going to have to experiment as to which is the best turn coil to use and also the um, the thickness of the wires. But, um, it's clever how something so small can do so much. Well, that's our five turn coil in. I'm just going to wash off this flux in the um, alcohol, but I'm going to use it sparingly this time. Um, because remember, we've got our, um, our tunable, what do you call it, a little, a little, a little, a little trimmer cap in here. So I'm not soaking the ball this time. Right, just two more things to go in. That's all it is. A battery connector and an aerial. I 
and this is our aerial it's a long wire now you've only seen part of it that's our aerial win Maybe it'd be good if I could just um, bug the boss's office. That would be good, wouldn't it? Hey, my boss bug his office. That would be really, really funny. Until it, until he sacked me. Right. Last but not least, our battery connector. Um, it does say which is positive and negative. See if we've done it without melting the wires on the other side. Oh, perfect. Right, I just scrubbed this um, bit of flux off. To go mad. Right, and there we have it. So let's get a long shot of this. By the way, that's what I've been using as a clamp. I've got a set of these as a, a big angle one, slightly angle one. And a straight one, very handy. Never had them before. Very handy, right? Well, there's our circuit board. So I would just go on there with um, a screwdriver and straighten up any parts that need straightening up, where um, wires are too close to one another. So have a look at the other side. There we go. And it takes um, two small one and a half volt batteries, I think, by the looks of that. And uh, we'll have a play around with this when I get home from work tomorrow. So, see you tomorrow. That's the time. And the date. It's the 17th of the 8th. So you can see when we made this. Um... Uh, this is just a reminder of the diagram. To you, um, just uh, Dazio 3, um, I'll take my hat off to him. Uh, very, very well thought out. Uh, made it as simple as possible so that somebody who might not be as good at electronics to um, make this. You've got resistors and the colour codes, what they are, the capacitors, values and the numbers, the transistors and everything, the boards marked out so that you can um, follow it to make sure you get parts around the right way. Everything's explained in detail on this little piece of paper and 
This is a three transistor three transistor three volts to run this. You know, hence the two cells. I'm sure you guys already worked that one out. Uh, range is up to 300 meters in an open field. Um, power consumption 8 milliamps. Adjustable frequency 90 to 100 megahertz. Modulation FM. Uh, antenna is 0.75 meters. Uh, PC size is 21 times 41 millimeters. We can see it all there. Alright, so I'll see you tomorrow when we have a go at trying this out and see if it see if it works. Okie dokie, see you tomorrow.